So I'm making a bucatini a limone. Because Ooh. no one doesn't like pasta. Right? Yeah, and true. this is a cheap dish. It's basically three ingredients. So are you ready? Yes. We have ready. a bucatini down, which is basically that pasta with the hole inside I of it. I love it. Yeah. The chew so is tell, oh, it's wonderful. I have it in salted water. Very salty, and it's Are you almost paying for, ready. Oh, the, the salt counts in this tally, too? Oh, Everything please. counts? Oh, No. I just need to know. Salt is kind of cheap. Okay. Okay. A pan, a little olive oil, uh, a few slices of garlic, okay? Uh, would you get the fragrance out in that? And I like to put a little bit of pepperoncini. Yes. Okay. You are getting really spicy, Jeezy. Are you think I'm getting spicy in my old age? <laughs> I, w I was going to say that, but I didn't want to make the joke. That's okay. Some pepper. Okay, we're just gonna stir this around. Very important when you're doing pasta with garlic, anything that has garlic smells amazing until it doesn't. Yes. And it usually doesn't smell amazing when it gets very brown, but you think it's amazing, but it's bitter. So be careful, do not brown garlic. I know every, everybody sees brown garlic and says that's great, but when you taste it, it's not cool. Okay, it's almost there. It's just basically softening up. Then to that, I'm going to add lemon juice. Okay. Ooh, three lemons. Mm. Lemon zest of three lemons. Zest of lemons first, obviously. That's a great money saving tip. You, you're right using there. almost the entire lemon. There's and no let's way. check our pasta. Ooh. And what I'm going to add to that is just a little pasta water. See all the starches in here, and that's the stuff that I call the glue that brings a dish together. Did you buy the lemons in the bag, or did you buy the lemons per lemon? You know, that's a good question. I don't know. But if mm. you buy it in the bag, much cheaper. Yep, yep. I hope and you don't have to buy lemon. organic lemons. I'm sorry. There's no reason to do that. Okay. Regular lemons work fine. Okay, that's done. Now I'm just gonna put that right in the broth. You know, Jeezy, that is a good money-saving tip, though. That not everything has to be organic. No. You can go online and look up the Clean 15. Those are the 15 cleanest fruits and vegetables that you don't need to buy organic. And then there's the Dirty Dozen, you know. So, into this. So we have the pasta, now it's cooking into this. A little bit of butter. This is gonna, this is gonna serve for a family of four. And then, what we're doing here is just letting it sort of drink up all this beautiful lemon, pasta water, garlic flavor. And you can smell the lemon. And this is the way that we would make any single pasta dish in the restaurant, just like this. Okay, and at the end, we're gonna finish with a little cheese and a little butter. Jesus, so I've got a couple smart shopping tips Whoa. for you guys, all right. all right? The first is when you're standing in the grocery store looking at the display, you wanna shop high and low, because the ones there in the middle, that's where they put the highest, right at your oh, eye level. Wow. So, okay, to this we're gonna add some fresh green beans for a little color and also some vegetables. These are just blanched fresh green beans. Looks like you've gone in and sliced them like the can. Are they sliced? Like a can. This is fresh, no can Well, here. I mean like the can. But you know, you're also French. extending the vegetable. I'm extending the vegetable, them. yes. So I'm using half as much, so it's almost ready. You see that little sort of, oh, it's trailing just that buttery sauce. It's almost ready. I'm just gonna taste some of that sauce. All right, smart shopping tip number mm. two. The big end cap displays at the end of the aisle, that doesn't necessarily mean the item is on sale. Sometimes they actually have a higher markup because they just want you to grab those. They sure do. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna finish with, this is probably the most expensive part of the whole dinner. It's Pecorino Romano, but uh, you can't, you gotta, you gotta have some you Gotta fun. have it. Mm. But I've really grated it. Okay. And then we're gonna toss it in. You wanna toss in cheese always one or two times. Toss it like this and then put some more in. If you put it all at once, you get that sort of sticky, cheesy, clumpy yeah. stuff happening. Oh, this looks good. Okay, a little bit more, and I think we're good to go. And this is the first family of four savings meal. Ooh. Pasta a limone. I love the addition of the green beans in there. Yeah. Is that good? So, yeah. a little parsley. Ooh, that's expensive. And a little bit more of this. And green beans are very inexpensive. Too. I will not be garnishing mine. I would just let you know that costs money to garnish. Well, okay. come on. Yeah, Sonny, you no got protein you in You gotta there. love yourself, Sonny. Yeah, I love my wallet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you I ready? Guess we'll see at the yes. end of this show who, so who loves her wallet the most, Sonny. Could, so, could, definitely. Do we get to find out how much this costs yet? That looks so delicious. 